Hi everyone, uh, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export progressive JPEGs directly from Figma. Uh, so to do this we need to install a plugin called Tiny Image. If you go to the toolbar in Figma and click on the Figma icon in the top left uh, and then go to your search and search for the word Tiny Image which is just one word. Uh, you'll see a plugin called Tiny Image Compressor pop up under the Plugins tab. Uh, you'll see this little icon here that, that'll be quite recognizable uh, instantly. And then if you haven't already installed it, you'll see a button over here that says Install. Uh, I've already got it installed and that's why mine says it's got it installed with the little checkbox. Uh, but if yours just says Install, click on that button and then it'll change to say Installed like mine does. Once you've installed it, you can jump back into your project. And uh, to open the plugin, just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to tiny image compressor and click on that. And that will run the plugin that we just installed. Okay, so because we wanna export uh, progressive JPEGs, uh, we're not gonna probably do that for uh, these these icons. Um, these are probably more suited to uh, PNG because they've got transparency. Uh, you could export them as JPEG, but in this case, I'm much more interested in these photos uh, that are that are going to be much better for our JPEG uh, progressive JPEG output. Um, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have export settings on your layers. Um, I've already got them set up, but if you don't, I'll just show you what that looks like. Um, so I've just removed the export settings on this image over here. So if I click on refresh in the tiny image plugin, uh, you can see I get this little warning just letting me know that uh, none of the selected layers, in this case the one I'm selecting now, um, none of those layers have any export settings on them. Um, and so we need to add one. Uh, at least one to make tiny image know what kind of image we want to export. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to click on my, my image over here and go over to the right hand column, click on export. And then that will give me the default option of PNG. But in this case, because I want to export progressive JPEGs um, from Figma, I need to click on this SVG drop down and change that to JPEG. So now that's set to JPEG. Uh, I can also add another one, so I can add another export setting at 2x and change that also to be JPEG. And now if I refresh, click on this little refresh button in tiny image, uh, that's detected these new export settings that I've added to my image. So if your images aren't showing up, uh, it just means that you need to to uh, add those export settings in Figma and, and tell Figma and tell Tiny Image uh, what you intend to export from, from Figma. So now that we've got our JPEGs export settings set up uh, on all of our images here, we've got 1x and 2x JPEGs on all of them, uh, we can start to export them and see uh, what that looks like. So because we want to export progressive JPEGs, which is a specific format uh, that allows you to uh, load in the images a little bit differently than they usually get loaded in. Uh, normal JPEGs, when you put them on a website and look at them in a browser, uh, they'll be loaded from top to bottom. So you'll, you'll notice when you see images loading sometimes, uh, it starts loading at the top. So the strips of the image uh, at the top kind of come in uh, from top to bottom. But progressive JPEGs, uh, exported in a slightly different way. So instead of getting loaded in from top to bottom, uh, it loads in progressively sharper versions of the, the entire image itself. So the first kind of pass will be, uh, you'll see all of the image, but it'll be not quite super clear what, what it is. And then it progressively loads in the image uh, detail, but loads it all in kind of uh, one one go rather than top to bottom line by line. It'll load in the full image, but just a lower quality version of it first, and then progressively uh, load in a sharper version. So it's it's just a different way of uh, using JPEGs on a website 
that might be more suited for your particular use case. Okay, so uh, describing progressive JPEGs aside, now we want to actually create them. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to use uh, the image that we've got over here as a, as a test case. So in tiny image to enable progressive JPEG exports uh, from Figma, we need to click on this little settings button here in the tiny image toolbar. So if I click on that icon, uh, you'll see a couple of options pop up. Uh, we're not interested in the, the bottom options at the moment, but we are interested in this little checkbox here, uh, little toggle switch that says use progressive JPEG compression. So by default that's turned off, but I'm gonna click on that icon, that toggle and enable it. So now we've got uh, use progressive JPEG compression uh, enabled. So we can, we can close that off and get out of the settings. And so now that's enabled progressive JPEGs. So you can see here the format's still set to JPEG, but because we've got our compression setting turned to progressive JPEG, uh, that's gonna use the JPEG, uh, comp progressive JPEG option when we click on export. So let's click on compress and let tiny image do its thing. So we're compressing just the two images to start with. And once that's done, it's going to save them as a zip file for us. Uh, so we can just go ahead and click on save. And before we open that up, you can see here, uh, I had the quality set very aggressively to 20. Uh, so the quality savings are kind of ludicrous. We've got 96% uh, saving on both of those JPEGs. Uh, the images aren't gonna look amazing, but that's just an idea of how far you can actually push it. Well, it's not the full extent, but that's like 20 quality out of 100 is, is pretty low. Um, but you can see here we've dropped from five megabytes to 220 kilobytes and 1.74 megabytes down to 78 kilobytes. So we've just saved a total of uh, 6.43 megabytes just on those two images alone. And if I double click on the zip file that it's exported for me, I'll open up that folder and you'll see here we've got our two images that we just expected to, to see. Uh, so that's the 2x version uh, that we can see here. And it's not it's not horrible. It's it's certainly uh, got some artifacts here if you if you look at the um, these banners in the the photo. Um, but if that was halved down to 1x, that actually looks really good. Um, you would not be able to tell uh, at a glance that we've compressed it down so far. Uh, and, you know, comparing that to something that's uh, uh, the original size and we haven't saved the 96%, I think the 96% saving is a, is a really good trade-off um, for that. Um, so how do we actually tell that this is a progressive JPEG? Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, now. So if I close this off, uh, I'm just going to open up my web browser and point you to a page that we can actually have a look at. Okay, um, so you can see I'm just using this uh, basic website that I found just on Google by searching for progressive JPEG test. Um, so what this lets us do is we can upload an image. So if I click on choose file, Go to tiny image compression, the one we just did. I'm just gonna upload one of those images. And you can see here it's flagged it as uh, progressive. And it's giving us an example of what a progressive uh, JPEG might look like as well. So I'll, I'll click into that and uh, and just show you. So you can see here, I don't know if you could, you could see that very clearly. Um, if I refresh that, that's probably cached now, but it, uh, it loaded it in at a slightly lower quality and then and then kind of blurred it up. Uh, so that's that's roughly what, what the idea is behind it. So that's cool, that means we've confirmed that the uh, the export worked and we now have progressive JPEGs, which is, which is awesome. Uh, so if we wanna do that again, we can just rerun tiny image uh, from the sidebar because we've already uh, launched it. You can just click on this little icon in the sidebar under plugin and click on tiny image, you'll see the little milk bottle icon and that'll rerun it for you without having to uh, open up your right click menu. 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to rerun this experiment uh, and do all of these images now. And I'm going to set it to 50 instead of uh, 20 just to get a, a slightly more reasonable output. Uh, so if I uh, compress that again, uh, this is going to go through uh, eight different images because we've got retina and non-retina export settings on, on all of them. And I just want to give you an idea of uh, roughly what kind of quality you can expect to get uh, across the board if we, if we export them all at 50% uh, quality. Uh, okay, so that's all done now. We can save that. And if we look at the numbers, again, it's just like super good compression. We've got 92% saved. Uh, from eight images, we've just saved an absolute uh, number of 29.5 megabytes, which is, which is massive. If you're putting these up on a website uh, and, and exporting these progressive JPEGs uh, from Figma just to put on your website, then, you know, 29 megabytes is, is massive for your, for your users. Um, so you can see the numbers kind of, kind of speak for themselves. Um, so we can go ahead and, and uh, unzip that as well and jump in there. And yeah, as you'd expect, you've got all the images that we, that we wanted, uh, 1x and 2x for all of them. Obviously the 2x ones are, uh, turned out a bit better, but yeah, the idea would be just to, to play around with the quality slider and, uh, and keep doing that until you're satisfied with the, with the output, uh, quality versus size and just keep doing that. Uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the entire process of exporting uh, progressive JPEG files directly from Figma. So as always, thank you for tuning in and watching. I hope you've learned something and I hope that it helps you out with your own uh, projects or websites uh, that you've got going on at the moment. So uh, until next time, thanks again.